Hi, this is Tori Huff, and I'm here with your Mental Health Minute. Right now in our world, we're facing a ton of uncertainty, fear, worry, and anxiety. So I just wanted to hop on and talk a little bit about stress, toxic stress, and things that you can do to take care of yourself, especially if you have mental illness. The first thing we need to understand are the signs of stress. The first sign of stress is excessive fear and worry about your own health or the health of your family members. Changes in your sleep patterns or your eating patterns is the second one. Third is difficulty sleeping or concentrating. Fourth is worsening of your chronic illnesses or health problems. And fifth is an increased use of alcohol, tobacco, or drugs. All these are signs that you are stressed out and if you're showing those signs, I want to share with you a few tips to maybe help it out a little bit. Take a break. Take a break from watching the news, listening to the news, scrolling through social media, talking about the COVID-19 virus. Just take a break. And if we choose to take a break now, we might actually prevent a mental health crisis later on down the road. In our house, after 6 p.m., we try and shut off all social media and just take a break and enjoy each other. I know, though, it's really important for us to continue to stay informed, so just make sure that you're using vetted news sources. Hop online to your local newspaper or news outlets. Check the CDC website to make sure that you are up to date with where we are with this pandemic. I also kind of want to talk about a little bit about loving your neighbors, loving your community. How can you do that in a safe way when we're asked to be socially distancing? So the first thing you can do is just pick up the phone and call. A lot of our senior citizens, this is how they keep in contact. And it's really important that we don't forget about them and that we're connecting with them. You can FaceTime, you can do Facebook Lives, Snapchat. There's tons of ways that we can connect with one another. So please don't just sit in your house alone. Share your worries with others. Share your anxiousness with others because I bet they're feeling some of those same things. Take care of your body. Practice yoga, meditation. Get outside and take a walk. I've seen a ton of online classes, whether it's dance or exercise classes that you can do and you can join right in with others who are doing it with you virtually. You can also connect with yourself through arts and creativity. That's actually been a great way that I have found that has helped me. We have done paintings, coffee foam art, music, dance, TikToks. It's been a blast just being able to be creative and using that part of my brain that I usually don't get a chance to use on a regular basis because I'm really busy working. If you don't feel like any of these tips are helping and your mental health seems to be declining, please, please, please reach out for help. Call your doctor. Connect with your existing counselor. You can uh, hop online or call the SAMHSA helpline or contact your mobile local crisis. We care about you, we love you, and we wanna make sure that you're well. Okay, have a great day.